Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, today I'm gonna give you scenarios and I'm gonna show you uh, what's inside. I'm gonna tell you different parts. Um, scenario one so I got these four keys this one, nothing inside, this one, everything's inside, this one, everything inside, and this one's looks like this. First scenario, let's say uh, you got ballet key, which is this is their ballet key, the grip key, and that's the only key you have. Now, uh, ballet key is, you know, you give this to the valet when you get your car. Ballet key only allows you to uh, turn on the car, and that's it. You lock your glove compartment or your you know where your trunk lever is if you lock the lock those um this can't unlock it so that's why it's called ballet key and this key you know it's a normal key this can unlock every everything you know doors remotely the remote so and let me show you what one of these keys has and also how to open it. There's a screw in the back, little tiny Phillips screw. So you just unscrew it. And then you pry from here, there's a little notch here, you just pry. And then careful, don't lift it up straight. You kind of lift that angle and and pull this way because of this right here because this one hooks into there it's okay so let me and be careful because this, this screw does fall out okay so um so here's the key taken apart so this is called the key you know of course the key right here this is the immobilizer, this black looking chip. Uh, it has white because this is a new one. I haven't put it in. So I don't, don't mind that. Just, this is just look at the black part. Let me see if I can get close. Just look at the black part. And before you take it out though, uh, see how it how it's stuck. Cause see how it's different. This side is, you know, thinner than that side. So you gotta be careful. When you open it, take a look at that. Take a picture or whatever. And it usually goes um, like this. The the fat part towards the back and the f the skinnier part. The less, as you can see, this is skinnier. The less part goes to towards the key. That way. So it'd be like this, towards the key. So is that okay? So let me start over. The key, immobilizer, and the key fob. The key fob is the electronics, which opens doors, and then the panic, and the, the trunk. Um, the way you could open this, get a flathead, and, and just pull. see it has this and a notch here that goes there so as you can see it has a battery the battery side and th this this flat makes contact with this and that's like com completes the whole circuit and this is the I believe this is the negative side let me check Yep, so positive, I'll tell you, plus sign. Oh, and the type of, say you lose the, or your battery's running low, you use a 1616 battery, three volts. Uh, CR 1616, three volts. This is Panasonic, you can use, it. You can use uh, whichever brand you want. 
eBay is cheap, so. All right, so. Number plus sign goes at the bottom. Negative. So the flatter side, the flatter side, like this flat, goes on the bottom. And you just put the back same way. There you go. You won't hear a snap, you might. As long as it's, it doesn't fall off, you're good. So that's the key fob, transponder, and the cover and the screw. So that's a quick demonstration. Now, let me give you scenarios. Uh, scenario one, you lost all your keys, but your valet key. Now, remember, your valet key will only open, uh, sorry, will only start the car, unlock the doors, and that's it. It won't unlock the glove compartment, or if the truck release lock is on, it won't unlock that either. So what you could do is have your key maker, your locksmith, turn this into a a master key. Which I mean, what I mean with the master key is a regular key like this one. So that would give you access to the glove box and the you know if it's locked the glove box and if uh, the truck release is locked as well so once you do that you got a key there that one will do everything except the you know of course the wireless remote because of the key fob electronics so what you could do is uh, go to eBay and look for you know your key your key uh, with Remember, with the key fob, so which is the electronics and transponder inside. I'll tell you in the descriptions. Um, I'll try to post a link or a, another video of how to look for it. Um, so, and it'll be blank, of course. This is already cut, but it'll be blank. And it has the, you know, eBay has the options to see if it fits for your car. So just do that. And so once it arrives, you're going to have a blank key and this valet key. What you could do is take it to your locksmith, have him turn this into a master key. If he knows how, you know, it should be. It's just, I think you just have to cut one of these, like different. <clears throat> so once he cuts this one, and then ask him to cut this one. And, and might as well just have him Do the transponder. Because this, only a locksmith could do it. This is to turn on your car. So you're gonna have to do the transponder chip on both of these. So cut, cut as the master key, cut the key, and then have him activate both, both uh, transponders. And if he wants to do the, the free, uh, unlock and lock or see if he charges you um i have another video how to do it free for you for you so uh so what uh, again what the locksmith is going to do turn this into a master key and then and then cut this one and then Activate the transponder with your car. The transponder is what uh, tells your car, you know, once you put that into ignition, it says, oh, okay, this is the right key. Once you turn on the car, I'll start it. So it basically just talks to your ignition saying it's the right key. So nobody else takes your car with just any, you know, if they find a key or and it happens to fit your car. So there's that scenario. And of course, if you have more keys, if you want more, duplicates you know buy as many as you want and then just take them the same day so there's that scenario second scenario is um, you have you know these two keys let's say uh, we could put this as a uh, ballet key again and um, this is this key works electronics and everything but you know one day you go to a party a pool party 
and you happen to jump in the pool with this. And so you, this doesn't work. Open the door and anything, does, that doesn't work. It still works to unlock the door with the, with the key and to turn on the car, but no electronics. So, you know, so the key, key works fine to turn on the car. Um, so what you do is go to eBay again and they won't sell this. I mean, they might now, but I, when I, um, you know, time in this video, they don't sell this separate. So what you could do is buy the whole key itself and um, make sure it has the electronics and the transponder. Again, so key fob and then electronics. I mean key fob and the transponder. Key fob or electronics and then key fob, uh, transponder. So once you, this arrives, what you do is unscrew it. I did this with this one. And take off. And remember, this is the working one. Unscrew that one too. Let me do that. There's a Phillips screwdriver. So, let's see. So, this is the bad one. This is the new one. What you could do is take up the electronics from this one, and the, what you can do is, let's see. Let's say the, the transponder is here on this broken one. You take it off and you just leave it on this one. And then the new electronics of the one you just bought, you put it on this one. And the transponder number has a uh, a fat side and thin side. The fat side goes towards the loop of the key ring. And the thin side goes towards the key. Towards the key and then you just put the screwdriver back. I mean, this is a uncut key and with bad electronics. So you could hold on to this just in case this also breaks on your new one. I mean, on your, the one you already have. These break, so all you do is take off the key and put put this plastic back. So there's, uh, there's another scenario there. And you're gonna have the this one working again and your ballet key. Okay, another scenario. So let's say this key keeps breaking from here when you turn on the car, this breaks off. Sometimes it doesn't want to start because of the number the immobilizer gets moved. The immobilizer has to be, have an, enough um, space or close close enough to the to the key to the ignition so it could uh, say okay you know so it could read it so let's say this keeps breaking so you, what you do is order a key that doesn't have the electronics you know but because you, you already have the electronics here so what you do is go to the you know locksmith I heard some of the dealers do it free or it might be do it cheaper you know it depends your area probably have them just say, you know, cut it. And at this, at the, at the dealership, they're gonna want you to sell, they want you to buy, you know, everything, which is, uh, those wanna, want it, want you to activate it with them and make sure it works for your car and all that. And say no, you just want it cut, so it opens the doors. And that's it. They should not charge you more than, if they charge more than, 30 bucks. Hey, if it's more than 30 bucks, go look for it somewhere else. 25 is good, 20 is better, and then 
like I said, some of the dealers might give it to you for free or cheaper. So, okay. So once you've got that cut, you know, the key, what you do is open this one. Open it. And careful with the screw. Again, it's a Phillips, and then see this notch here, just either with the flathead or your here. Open that one. And here's the number, the bad one. It keeps breaking from here. Let's open that one up. Again. See, like, say this, it keeps breaking like this. So. So all you do is get the get this the electronics and get the immobilizer. Now before you switch them, again, uh, see how their uh, how the immobilizer is facing, which way and how it is, because you're gonna put it the exact same way on the other one. If you can't, don't worry. Uh, usually. You the thin part goes out towards the key, the back part goes away from the key towards the key ring holder. And you just put it in. Um, and just put it in. I'm not going to because this is a brand new one, so obviously it doesn't fit because it has this tape. But you put it in. And then put snap that in and put the screw. And you should get a new key. This should work. Buttons and all that, you know, double check and turn it on. And there you go. So there you go guys, a, a quick demonstration of different key scenarios and also a uh, a brief explanation of what's in this key you know you got your key fob which are the electronics and your transponder and the actual key so thanks for watching don't forget to rate and comment you know if uh, and if it definitely helped you uh, please subscribe and share the video thanks a lot till next time Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, today, I'm going to show you a cooler trick on this uh, 